If you are first new to the page, welcome. I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful wreaths and teach you how to make and sell them. Um, this is uh, Tip Tuesday, so I like to come on here on Tuesdays just to give a very quick tip, a, a little bit of a takeaway for you wreath makers out there or wreath sellers. Well, let me know if you want some Tip Tuesday wreath selling uh, tips. That would be fun to do too. Um, if you're watching the replay over on YouTube, you can also subscribe to me and click the bell icon there. I try to go live over there about twice a month. So welcome everyone um, to the page. We are going to be talking about glue. So I cannot tell you how many times I get asked about my glue. So I thought this would be a brilliant tip Tuesday. Glue is super important for your reeds. It is um, needed. Uh, I have a couple of wreath makers that I have met that they zip tie everything on and listen, more power to you if that's what you want to do, more power. However, if you are um, trying to make a wreath business out of it, it takes a lot of time to zip tie, especially if you've got fat thumbs like me. I can never get the zip tie in the right direction, so I have to, um, it just takes a lot longer. For me, I just, you know, can place in um, with glue a lot faster, and if you are selling, production time is very important for your bottom line and your profit margin, right? So you want to be as fast and efficient as possible. First of all, I'm going to move the wreath out of the way. This is what we just designed in our wreath making of the month club group. I love um, this deck, this is a deco mesh wreath. It just turned out super cute with all of the fun florals. You know me, I've got to put florals in everything. So even my deco mesh wreaths are full of flowers. Um, we made this in our wreath of the month club group. Um, we give them about two videos a week. Okay. So let me zoom in to my glue. Glue is, uh, there are several types of glues that you can use. When I first started, I was using the um, hot glue guns, okay? I was using hot glue guns. To me, that was good because that's all I knew. I couldn't use just one for my wreath shop. I had to have three going at all times. So if you're going to use a glue gun, that's no problem, but you're going to want to plug in more than one. You're going to need it because when you pump out the glue, you know, it only pumps out what it's heated up on a glue gun because that's what makes the hot glue go through the end of the gun. If you're putting things like styrofoam in arrangements or putting a lot of glue on the back of a leaf or something, you know, you're using up all that glue fast and then you have to wait for it to heat up a little bit before you get the production going. So that's why I would always have two or three glue guns going at the same time. Then I started using the glue pan. So this is a glue pan. It's called a glue pan, a glue pot. Um, the only thing it is, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing um, branded or anything like that. It is a griddle that you get, an electric griddle that you get at Walmart. That's it. So they've got a 12 inch. This is the eight inch. I've used 12 inch before, which I love the 12 inch if I had a little bit more space. But since my table is a little bit limited, I use the eight inch. So this is just an eight inch electric skillet, what you would fry a hamburger in. You understand it's for food, but I'm using it for glue. You're gonna want to make sure that you have a dial. So I'm gonna try to tilt it without spilling the glue. This has got a dial, so I can adjust it, the temperature from off to own, 275 all the way to 425. It is hot. It is going to be extremely hot underneath. You're going to want to put it on a wooden, a piece of wooden plank, or I like to use just a, a tile that you get at Home Depot, like a 12 by 12 tile. Use that to put your hot glue on, your hot glue pot on. And then just don't forget to turn it off and you know whenever you're finished with it. If you're just at home like me in my garage, I just turn it off. I don't necessarily unplug it from the outlet. And depending how hot you want your glue is to how much you adjust your temperature. So a lot of people ask me, well, what is your glue pot set at? Well, it just depends. 
So if I have a larger 12 inch, you know, you're going to have more glue in it. You might have to have it a little hotter. But with this little 8 inch, still it depends on how much glue is inside. The one thing you're looking for is a consistency of honey, okay? So when you go back and forth, so this is a little bit thick. All I would need to do is tap this up to around the 400 range. And I'm looking for the consistency of honey. When I am finished using this glue, I don't dump the glue out. I leave it in and I just turn it off. Because as soon as I turn it off, it gets hard again. It gets like, you know, like a glue stick. It gets really hard. And then I turn my glue pan back on to use it again. What's floating on the inside? I've got glitter. I've got little pieces of plastic, some leaves that might have fallen off a branch or something. But um, mine is a little bit brown because a couple of times I probably left it on too long um, or too hot. And so it did get a little bit brown. I'm okay with that. Mine came with a cover, the glass cover, I just throw it away. I don't even need it. Because the reason you can't use the glass cover after using the glue is because you're gonna see all of this glue strings that come outside. Like as soon as you pull something to make a, you know, a pick with and you go outside of it, you're gonna have the glue strings on and off. And then as soon as you put that cover back on the glue when you're finished using it, it's going to stick and you won't be able to get it off, right, without heating up the glue again. So I prefer just to throw mine away. I just don't even um, use the, the top. The glue that I prefer to use um, is Gorilla Glue. It's the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Now, I've seen florists use uh, uh, glue pillows, glue pellets, um, various types of glues in their pans. Nothing holds like Gorilla Glue. I'm just being very honest. Um, I have worked with florists and I have seen them work. By the end of the day, their stuff's popping off. And I'm like, that's not on there. I couldn't sell that to a customer and ship it, right? You can't, I couldn't ship that to a customer. So I started using Gorilla Glue. It definitely holds a lot better. Now all of the florists that I talk to when they hear me talking about Gorilla Glue, they're using it now. So I like to use the Gorilla Glue. Um, they come in these glue sticks. I use the, uh, the shorter, what are these? The, this is the four inch, okay? So I use the four inch and I just drop them right in to my glue pot. So can you see that? I just drop them in and then just leave them alone and they will start to melt. They will start to melt. Um, there's there's different types of the Gorilla Glue. You can get, use the larger ones. If you have a larger 12 inch skillet, that might be fine. If not, you might wanna cut them. Um, but I like to use the four inch. I buy a 45 count bag on Amazon. I usually get four at a time because I do a lot of stuff. I put it in my glue pan. I just leave it on. I don't do anything. I usually go get a drink or you know, start prepping the ribbon or something like that. And by the time I turn around, it's already um, melted in. The one thing you want to remember is when you're testing the temperature of your glue, you don't want smoke, okay? You don't want smoke at all. That's when your glue is burning. So anytime I see any glue uh, smoke, I just turn it down a little bit because that's not good to breathe in either. It, it does have glue strings. Everything, no matter what glue you use, is going to have glue strings. Um, one of the ways to combat the glue strings is to just take your uh, stem in, right? and then just twirl it around. You'll see me twirling like this, and that just gets rid of the glue strings on the end so that when I go to insert it into my wreath, I try, it doesn't have as much of a glue string, if that makes sense. But sometimes if you're working really fast, you know, that's not, you get the glue strings. So in other words, I dip it in, and then I just twirl it around to where the glue strings are pretty much gone. That way you can now insert it to wherever you need to insert it without a lot of the glue strings or going around or going all the way through the design, if that makes sense. But you can see that the glue is now getting a little bit of a transparent color. So it's already starting to, um, to melt. Um, but yeah, you can, get the, you can get Gorilla Glue on Amazon. You can get it at Walmart. You can get these fry pans at Walmart. 
Um, I get mine at Amazon. So uh, there's just many ways that you can um, do this. I like the, the glue pan. To me, it's a lot quicker. It's nothing like fancy. It's no, I don't use any name brand, anything made for glue pans. You know, I don't use anything like that. It's just, um, I don't even know what the brand of this electric skillet is. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the temperature control works. You want to be able to adjust the temperature varying on how much glue you put in, if that makes sense. Um, I am not being paid to mention Gorilla Glue, <laughs> but it's just definitely one of my favorites. I tell everybody that is crafting with me to use Gorilla Glue. I hope y'all found this useful. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, let me know what tip you would like to know about for our next Tip Tuesday. So again, subscribe to my channel. If you're new to the page, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching the replay over on YouTube, subscribe. You can find more tips like this over on my website at southerncharmreads.com. So go to southerncharmreads.com for more Tip Tuesday ideas, also um, wreath making ideas and floral arranging ideas, okay? So southerncharmreads.com is our website. Y'all have a blessed afternoon. Bye.